Hey everyone, it's Will from WowConfidential.com. Come by my site for more gold making articles and a detailed description of this video. In this video, I want to share with you how I gather ore and herbs very fast and at the same time. The add-ons you're going to need, first of all, is GatherMate. This will populate your map with all of the ores that are in every zone. Download GatherMate and GatherMate data. We're looking here right now at GatherMate and you can set a whole bunch of options. I set it to track only, it only shows the nodes when you're tracking that particular profession. And the first time you load it, you have to click on import GatherMate data. And now my map in Hillsbrad is populated with all the ores and herbs that exist. Now that I know where all the nodes are, I wanna make a very efficient route so that I can go through the zone as fast as possible, only picking up the ores and herbs that I wanna collect. So with the Roots add-on, we can create a profile. I'm going to name this one Hillsbrad. What you do is you select the ores and the herbs that you want to collect. I'm only going to choose the ones that either give me a skill up, but I'm also not going to pick the ones that I don't have a high enough skill to pick yet. So we're going to go for Tin Vein, Silver Vein. If I see Copper Ore while I'm out running around I'll pick it up but I don't want the route to go out of the way to pick up a, a copper ore. When the map floats for the first time it looks crazy it looks like the lines are just going everywhere that's because our route isn't optimized yet so in the options you select the profile that you made this one was Hillsbrad click on optimize route and the first thing you want to do is click cluster with cluster it creates the shortest distance between each node and you can see there's a space between here it's not going to go directly to the node because your tracking has a certain range to it so it can go in between those two nodes and you'll still be able to track both sides then we click on foreground and now it's going to process and it's actually going to make the route in between each node so we look at the full map here now and that is our route the most efficient between each node that we selected I just want to show you uh, the herbs now. The first one was the mines on the map. We're going to mount up. Now the only thing you need as well is a macro that's going to switch automatically between your herbalism and your mining tracker. This is one thing that's very frustrating if you don't have a macro because you're, you're constantly clicking every two seconds. And you can see right now I'm not pressing a button. The macro that I just typed in is doing this for me. I post the macro on my site so click on the link in the sidebar and you can just copy and paste that macro from my site into the game. So now let's go onto the route and make some money. You want to follow the line exactly as it shows on the map on the top right. That map that I'm using right there is an add-on called Sexy Maps because I didn't find it worked with the uh, default UI. And that's about it. Just I'm going to keep on making these circuits around until uh, I notice that a lot of the ores and herbs uh, become green to me. And I'm going to have to move on to the next zone, which will probably be a Rathi Highlands. So thanks for watching the video. Make sure you come by my website at wowconfidential.com. Click on the link in the sidebar. That will be a full guide uh, of this video. I'll have all the links to the add-ons that I'm using in this video and I'll post the macro there for you so you can use this exact method. Thanks for watching. See you next time.